Attaché Express Leave is an online application that gives both employers and employees an easy way to manage leave requests from their desktop, mobile or tablet devices. Leave requests are approved by managers and sent to payroll for processing, which streamlines and eliminates paperwork. Employees can view their leave entitlements, leave history and see a calendar showing other employees' leave and public holidays. The types of users in Express Leave are Administrator, HR Manager, Employee Approver, Employee Non-Approver and Non-Employee. Non-employees may be contractors who you want to see in the Express Leave's Leave calendar but you do not want to process their payroll. Employees and non-employees can see My Leave, Request Leave and Leave Calendar along with the general menu. Non-employees will not be included in the Pay1 download. Employee approvers have the ability to request leave on behalf of someone else, the ability to approve leave, and they will also see their approval history. The HR manager can check pay period, process the payroll, and has access to all the reports. The administrator has access to all menus including the company admin menus that are explained in the Express Leave Setups video. All users have access to view their own leave details through MyLeave. MyLeave gives you your leave balances and your leave request history. The leave types you can view are dependent on your user type which are set up by the administrator in the leave type menu. Everyone has access to the Request Leave screen. This is where you can request for leave. Simply enter in the leave dates, select the leave type. The default approver is displayed, but you can select a different approver. For example, if your default approver is on leave, you can select the next appropriate approver. You may want to attach a file to go with your leave request, for example, a doctor's certificate. Enter any comments if required and click Submit. Express Leave will generate an email to the approver to let them know that they need to approve the leave. Approvers and above can request leave on behalf of other users. Select the employee the leave is for, dates, and the leave type. The employee's default approver is shown along with the ability to upload a file and write comments. Everyone has access to the leave calendar to see when people are not at work. Only the HR manager and administrator can view the type of leave approved. Everyone has access to the general tabs to view public holidays and access to a link to launch MyPay. Employees with approval rights and above can approve leave. The Approve Leave screen shows pending leave requests. The fields show the employee requesting leave, who created the leave request, details of leave requested, the employee's leave balance, the approval status, and the date the leave was created. As an approver, you can approve or reject the leave. An email will then be sent to the employee advising the approval or rejection. At the end of a pay period and prior to processing pays in attaché payroll, you will need to export leave transactions from Express Leave and import them into attaché payroll. These will then be combined with the employee's standard pay or timesheet for payroll processing. Before you import leave transactions from Express Leave, ensure you take a backup of your attaché payroll data. From the Review and Process menu, select Check Pay Period. In the last day of Pay Cycle field, enter the pay period ending date, select Apply Filter, a list of transactions for the period is displayed. Sort the data by clicking the status field. 
check any transactions with the status of pending approval and follow up with the relevant employee or manager to approve or reject the request. Select Audit Report from the Reports menu and check any leave requests that were not approved by the relevant approver. Leave or timesheet transactions that have a status of pending approval at the time of processing can be approved by the administrator or HR user type. Alternatively, be reassigned a different approver for that transaction only. To create a file of leave and or timesheet transactions to import into Attaché Payroll, from the Review and Process menu, select Process for Payroll. In the last day of pay cycle field, enter the pay period ending date and select the payroll company country. Review the leave and timesheet entries displayed on screen for correctness. Choose Process Entries and Download File. Save the import file to your Attaché Payroll Company's resource folder To check your company data path in Attaché Payroll, select Tools, Company, System, System Status. To import the transactions file into Attaché Payroll, go to Payroll, to Transactions, Disk File Entries, Test File Entries. If there are any problems with the file, Resolve those errors until the test returns data with no errors. Go to Disk File Entries, Read File Entries to import the leave transactions from Express Leave for processing. Continue with your normal payroll process. The audit report shows leave that has been approved by someone other than the default approver. For example, if Aiden approves leave for Amelia, whose default approver is Alexander, the transaction will appear on the report. The administrator can choose to reject the leave. The leave balance report shows leave entitlements up to the end of the last pay period processed. Processed entries are all the entries processed to payroll. You can look at the individual entries by clicking on the records or entries column. If you have identified an error in the timesheet import file for attaché payroll, you can restore the transactions in Express Leave and create an import file with the correct data. Before you restore previously processed transactions, confirm that you have not processed this file in Attaché Payroll. And if you have already processed this file in Attaché Payroll, then restore your payroll company to before this file was processed using Attaché Archive. To restore previously processed transactions to Express Leave, Locate the batch you need to restore. You can choose to restore the batch or individual transactions within that batch. Once restored, those transactions will display as unprocessed in reports. To restore the batch, select Restore in the Action column. After you've restored transactions, proceed with your adjustments in Express Leave and recreate the import file for Attaché Payroll. It is best practice to mark the entries as complete after the pay run is complete, so you have a visual representation of completed records. A filtered report is a custom report you can build yourself based on the selected search criteria. You can select via employee, approver, leave type, or status of the leave, or any combination of these fields. Select the search criteria and click Add. Then select the next criteria and click Add. You will see the report being built under the criteria selection. In this example, I have selected when the approver is Aidan Edwards, the leave type is personal leave and status is approved. The Company Admin menu is only accessible by the Administrator. The Company Admin menu is covered in more detail in our Help Centre and in the Express Leave Setups video.
company details can be altered as required. Manage Users allows you to add employees one by one to Attache Express Leave. Employees who are added manually are automatically invited to register for Attache Express Leave. If you have Attache 18, employees are automatically updated to Express Leave. You are also able to import a CSV file from Attache Payroll. Simply drop and load your CSV file in the space provided. More detailed instructions are available in our Help Center under Importing Employee Details from Attaché Payroll. Leave types must be set up before using Express Leave. A more detailed explanation of leave types is in our Express Leave Setups video. And detailed instructions are available in the Help Center. Thank you for viewing the Attaché Express Leave video. More information can be obtained by accessing our Help Center at myattaché.attachesoftware.com.